I'm now going to do a, another batch of multi-sole uh, beetroot. I did some about four, three or four weeks ago, and uh, they're all coming through nice. I think I've been overwatering them, uh, so I've lost a few. Me personally, I don't like beetroot. I'm doing this for the missus because she, she likes beetroot and uh, we've never grown them before. Certainly never um, done them, multi sown them. So what I've done, I'll just show you. I've prepped, I've prepped my trays and pushed firmly down the compost. And I've just put little holes in. And what I'm wanting to do, I'm wanting to soak Just wait a few seconds For it to go down and Just a little imprint of your thumb because we want these compact together and you want four, four or five beet roots in each cell and they seem to like, that's all I've heard growing this way and if you ain't got a lot of space like I haven't um, I find, find uh, that this is a save on the space and you're using less you're using less compost <clears throat> my um, Sorry about the hand. The type of beetroot is uh, ball tidy. Ball tidy or something like that. And it's supposed to be very robust. So what I'm doing is, <coughs> I'm putting down. Go for. I'm gonna go for a quite a big seed beetroot. Some reason I never like beetroot in a jar, but I am going to try them. row
Okay. Some ones that got five in. Just to make sure that the, all the say all the cells are full. Okay, and I like dusting all the. This compost, I've changed my compost. I've got different varieties of compost. This is uh, Johnny Means number two. And same again, I've mixed uh, a bit of sharp sand in with fair light. Okay, we have watered it and with these now we've got the seed in it's a nice firm I like to get another water <coughs> Got our labels. Okay. Welcome back. I have been here. <laughs> Um, well tidy and today's date something And that's it. More beetroot to go. 